Hey guys, I'm Dave Chesson of Kindlepreneur, and today we're going to cover a subject that I get asked a lot about, and that is, what is the best email service for authors? There are a lot of email services out there, and some proclaim to do everything you need, and many actually fall short. Others have hidden fees, or their, their costs balloon after you hit a certain point. So, in order to answer this question, I research four of the most talked about email services that authors love, and that's MailerLite, MailChimp, Mad Mimi, and ConvertKit. Now, there are many more out there, and I've actually used a whole bunch myself from Constant Contact, Aweber, GetResponse, ActiveCampaign, but these were not some of the most loved out there. So to keep it simple, we're gonna analyze these four. And to best do that, we're gonna start by looking at their free accounts and what they can do, their pricing, and then I'm gonna give an overview of each one to include the pros and cons. And then at the end, I'm gonna give my recommendation for the one I think that is best for authors. But before we get into that, if you'd like to learn more about book marketing as well as author services like these, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell icon to the right so that you get a notification when my next video comes out. And with that, let's begin. Okay, so let's start by looking at the free accounts and see what they can do as well as how many subscribers you get. Starting with MailerLite. With them, you can have a thousand subscribers, as well as being able to send out 12,000 emails a month. With MailChimp, you get 2,000 subscribers and you get to send out 10,000 emails per month. Now, 12,000, 10,000 emails, both are completely fine and most likely you're not gonna go over that with 1,000 or 2,000 email subscribers. Mad Mimi doesn't have a free account, so you're gonna have to start paying from day one. And finally, ConvertKit. ConvertKit has a thousand subscribers and they allow unlimited email. Now, before you mark ConvertKit as one of the better because it has unlimited emails, there's one important thing to point out. MailerLite and MailChimp include sequences and automations and all the important things you would need in a free account. ConvertKit, on the other hand, doesn't. So you could have people sign up, but you can't send them an automated email to welcome them to your email list. You can just blast out emails. So therefore, I do not recommend ConvertKit's free version. Instead, MailerLite and MailChimp provide everything you need in its free account so that you can get started using the right tools from the get-go and not miss out. Okay, so now that we covered the free versions, let's go ahead and talk about paid because the truth of the matter is is that some are more expensive than others and others have hidden fees. Let's go ahead and jump in. For each of the four, we've listed all the prices for those different subscriber levels. In general, both MailerLite and Mad Mimi have the most competitive pricing. MailChimp, on the other hand, is much higher than both Mad Mimi and MailerLite. Another thing about MailChimp, too, is they've had a history of raising their prices without adding new features or any value added. So just kind of be aware of their pricing. And ConvertKit is the most expensive, like by far. Okay. So we've now looked at the free versions as well as pricing, and I'm gonna have to give a total plus mark for MailerLite and MailChimp for their free version, and I'm gonna have to give MailerLite and Mad Mimi a plus mark for their pricing. Now, let's go ahead and look at the individual services as well as their pros and cons, starting with MailerLite. First thing is, I love what you get with their free account. I mean, you get everything you need to get started. And so with those first 1,000 subscribers, you'll be able to set up automations, sequences, you'll be able to tag your list. These are things that a lot of other accounts take away from you. Another thing like we discussed is it's much cheaper than most of the others out there. In general, with MailerLite, you'll be able to do everything you need to do. And therefore, I think it also has the highest value for the money. Some of the cons though, is that you only get one list so you need to use segmenting in order to figure out who signed up for what. It's very doable. It's just easier when they have multiple lists. Another con that a lot of authors have against MailerLite is that when you go to sign up for your account, you have to quote unquote apply in order to use them. However, though, there's a benefit to this. They really care about their deliverability rate and they wanna make sure that you're a legitimate person and that you're not a spammy marketer. As authors, that won't be the case. Also, another con with this is that as compared to the others on this list, I feel like some of the user experience and what you have to click and where you click is a bit more confusing than some of the others. And the last con is also deliverability rates. In the past, they used to not have those questions and some of their deliverability was really questionable. However, though, over time, they've really improved on this. And so far over the past six months of using it, I haven't seen any deliverability issues that make this stand out more or less than some of the others on this list. Okay, next, let's look at MailChimp. All right, let's start with some of the pros. 
First and foremost, this is probably the service that most authors use and businesses are familiar with. That's because they've kind of been the king for a very long time. But things have changed and we're gonna get it to that when we get in the con. Another thing that's great about them is they're easy to use. They have a great email creation system. You can also create multiple lists, unlike what we talked about in MailerLite. You do have tagging available, which is good. And their free plan, just like MailerLite, is very generous. Except with them, you can go up to 2,000 contacts instead of 1,000. But do note that you can only send 12,000 emails a month. And if you're getting to 2,000, you're getting close to that limit. It really depends on how many emails you send out. Okay, let's talk about cons now. One of the biggest cons is that if somebody unsubscribes from your list, you have to pay for that. This caused a lot of problems in the author community because they just came out with this sort of thing and a lot of authors felt cheated. In truth, another con about this company is I don't like the fact that they did something like that and that they added it to their system. And then on top of that, that they continue to increase their prices without any value added. All in all, I just have a lack of trust for this company. I really wouldn't want to build my platform on them considering the things that they're doing. Another con is, is that once you move out of their free account, they're one of the more expensive ones, especially for what we call like a lower tier email system. And to add to this, their pricing structure is also a little tricky. They say $9.99, but then you quickly realize that it is for only 500 contacts, meaning that you had 2,000 with their free plan and you'll have to pay a whopping $29.99 to upgrade to paid makes the free plan even more tricky and the pricing offer on the page a bit manipulative. All right, next, let's talk about Mad Mimi. Some of the pros that I really like with Mad Mimi is they have great support. Uh, them and ConvertKit were a notch above the other two. Now, maybe I got just the right people or whatever, but I talked to a couple of other authors and they echoed the same thing about Mad Mimi. It's also one of the cheaper ones. Like Mailer Lite, it's pretty comparable and I think it's a good ROI. One thing that makes it really easy is you can have multiple lists. Furthermore, it has the capability of doing drag and drop emails or plain text. Some of the cons are, well, for example, they don't have a free version. So you're gonna have to pay right out of the gates in order to start using them. Another thing is they don't have any segmentation. Now I think this is more of an advanced thing, but it's a feature that I really like using in my emails. So I'm gonna mark it as a con. Furthermore, out of all of the email systems, Mad Mimi's was the hardest to remove somebody from your list. They had extra steps that you had to take and this was just kind of a pain. Okay, and finally, let's move to ConvertKit. Some of the pros are that this is by far the most powerful of the author email services that we list. There's so much that they can do, uh, so many options, so many designs. It, it's extremely robust. I also think you can build the most beautiful landing pages and opt-in forms using them. Their support is excellent, just like Mad Mimi's. Overall, everything's designed intuitively, it's easy to understand, and it's really clean. Some of the cons, though, are that this is by far the most expensive one, like almost double the price for many. And for many authors, that's just too much. Furthermore, like, like MailerLite, you can't create lists, so you're gonna have to depend on segmenting and tagging and triggers, which for many authors can be really overwhelming and advanced. Okay, guys, so there you have it. We've covered the free versions as well as the pricing, and we've done the pros and cons of each. Now let's go ahead and look at which ones I recommend and for which situation. For most authors out there, I recommend starting with MailerLite. I think that their free version gives you everything you need in order to create an effective email system as well as to be able to use it effectively to make book sales. They also have great pricing throughout from the beginning to the end. There's no hidden fees. It's pretty leg you know, legitimate. The things you get it's a good ROI. I do question their deliverability rate, but I really don't think it's that big of a difference compared to the other. So for me, I'm gonna continue using MailerLite for all of my book email lists, as well as for some of my niche websites, because I think it's more than capable to handle them. Now let's move on to my other recommendation, which is ConvertKit. I would only recommend ConvertKit to some high level authors that are doing some crazy tactical things. I personally use ConvertKit for Kindlepreneur. But for that one, I've got multiple lists and segments and triggers. I'm also connecting it to uh, Publisher Rocket Sales. So there's a lot of things going on in there and I really need those features. So to me, ConvertKit is worth the price. But I would say that ConvertKit is way overpriced for 99.9% .9 of the authors out there. Unless you have some crazy sales funnel, otherwise it's overkill and you're gonna be paying way more than you should. So in the end, I'll say for new authors and growing authors, I think MailerLite does the trick. 
For advanced authors who, who are selling things outside of their books and doing more within their business, I think ConvertKit is a great fit. If you're interested in any of these email lists, I'll have links below. They will be affiliate links, and if you do click and sign up and end up paying for one of those services, I will get a small commission, which will go towards my coffee fund. One other thing to note too is I designed a full free video course on how to sell up, set up your MailerLite for author email lists, where I'll take you through the steps and the understanding. If some of the words I use were a little bit too complicated, don't worry, I simplify it in that free video course. So you can find the link for that below in the description. And with that, I'm Dave Chesson of Kindlepreneur, signing off. Cheers.